If you're looking to buy cheap NBA Live mobile coins, go to MMOGO.com and use the code BOBBY for 3% off. What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. Right here, you can see we've got the new round of four packs. So the final four is happening tonight. This is going to be the time when you can actually get those players that you're going to need for the round of four sets. So the 94 Steph Curry like I had yesterday. If you don't want to drop 50 bucks in order to get it, you can go ahead and complete one of these elite players and do that. So I'm going to open up both of these packs, and I also have a bunch of elites stacked up. So we're going to open those until we get what we need. <laughs> right off the bat, we get a Russell Westbrook right there. All right, I will take that start. Um, so I have enough elite players, I believe, to get a round of four players. So hopefully I'll have to check on that, but I'm almost positive on that one. And nothing outside of that Russell Westbrook. So a bit of a disappointing pack, especially considering it costs... 150,000 coins. Now, obviously, the round of four players are going to be crazy expensive, so if you pull one, it's a really good deal. But if you don't pull one, then you've just wasted 350 or uh, 300,000 coins. And more than likely, that's going to be what happens to me. Lots of mobile madness players, and none of them having any value. Obviously, we also have the mobile madness sets. And our free Mobile Madness gift right here. So we'll go ahead and open that. Might open a couple Mobile Madness packs just to test them out. I'll open up three. If we don't pull anything, then we'll go ahead and hop over to those elite players. So what I expected right there, two regular Mobile Madness players. I very rarely pull elites out of these. And I'm guessing the scenario is probably going to be the same for today. Yep, nothing but gold. So we will hop on over. We've got 10 elite players right here. We'll go ahead and open up the random Elite Mobile Madness players first. Round of 64, that's about what I've come to expect. I opened a ton of these and pulled pretty much nothing but round of 64 cards. So not really all that disappointed because this is what EA has brought me to expect. And I'm okay with it. I'm just trying to get to the end of this program. All right, we do get a Joe Kim Noah right there. So that'll go for a little bit more than the average. Let's see what we get all right, I just accidentally didn't try to sound British. <laughs> uh, we get a Frank Kaminsky right here, 89 overall, and we're going to end up throwing him into a set anyway, so I don't know why we're looking at him. Let's see who to get. Who? Ooh, James Harden right there. That's one of the better ones. More than likely, we're still going to end up tossing him into the set. There are some nice round of 16 players. We pulled... Uh, 92 Dwayne Wade yesterday. We get the worst one right there, Brandon Ingram. But it doesn't really matter because we're going to be throwing all of these guys into sets. So I am perfectly fine. Another Brandon Ingram. I actually kind of prefer that they would be a lower overall because then I don't feel as bad about putting them into the set. <laughs> and last one, another Frank Kaminsky. Okay, so we're going to hop on over to our sets. I know we're going to be able to do an elite eight exchange, and then hopefully we have enough, what am I doing? <laughs> Not paying attention at all. All right, here we go, round of eight. So we'll be able to get two of those. And then once we throw in two of those, we'll be able to get two round of four players. Let's see, see who we can get. All right, 90 Chris Paul, that's not bad. I think 90 is the lowest overall possible for this set, but I'm not going to be mad because I'm going to end up throwing him into a set anyways. Next one, let's see who we can get. Three, two, one. Another Chris Paul. All right. Here we go on over to the round of four players. All right. Let's see. I actually haven't checked who these players are, so I have no idea what I'm going to pull on this one. And I should have screenshotted the pack for my thumbnail. That is all right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, that is beautiful. 99 JJ Reddick. All right. <laughs> Did I just say 99 JJ Reddick? 92 JJ Reddick. He does have a 94 three pointer, so that's pretty sweet. I'm trying to think who I currently have at shooting guard. I might hop over and check, see if there's. If it's somebody worth... No, I'm not going to sub out Penny Hardaway for him. I will compare their stats. I'm guessing JJ pretty much just has better three-pointer. Yep. And then worse in every other stat. So what you would expect from JJ Redick, lots of 
mediocre stats and then an amazing three-point rating. Um, but I will take that pull. That's not too bad. I'm going to hop over and see what other options there are in the store because I'm sure there are some pretty awesome new cards. We'll search 92 and above, and that should help us see some of the new cards. There are probably some 92 and belows as well. All right, Tyler Hansbro. Kind of figured we would be seeing him sometime. Uh, better than Bill Russell in every stat except for defense, which is a little bit surprising. Let's see, Carmelo Anthony, 94. Ooh, that's nice. Who do I have right there? That would actually be an improvement over Glenn Robinson. I might have to pick him up sometime soon. Let's see, any other good options? Oh my gosh, there's a 95 Steph. Why, why, why would they put him in the same lineup as Damian Lillard? That EA. What are you thinking? Why would you do this to me? Now I have to choose between a 95 Steph Curry and a 97 Damian Lillard. That is that is extremely frustrating. I am not happy about that at all. Obviously, I'm going to have to do gameplay with that Steph Curry card because that is a beautiful card. Oh, man, there's also a Kevin Durant card. That would be a huge improvement over Sean Kemp just because of how much better his offensive stats are. Um, and ironically, there's also a 99 Kevin Durant in the big man lineup as well. So they really didn't think that through. Like, basically, you can't have both of those in the same lineup. Uh, but, yeah, we got some sweet new cards here. Oh, my gosh, there's one that just sold for $3 million. Oh, my gosh, I wish I could have gotten that. Oh, that would have been so much fun to do gameplay with. Um, yeah, comment down below who you want to see gameplay with. I'm definitely going to try to get you guys some 95 Steph Curry gameplay as soon as I can. But that's going to be about it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys next time.